Tidewater goby are of particular concern since they are a federally endangered species. They occur in seasonally isolated brackish habitats that get connected to the Pacific Ocean, usually during the winter and spring month following larger runoff um, after storms when the sandbars or sand berm that separates the lagoon from the ocean breaches. Migration opportunity is very limited and due to extensive coastal development over the past many decades, a lot of these populations got isolated, extirpated they can't live their entire life cycle in salt water or in the marine environment, so they have to make it up into another lagoon. So what really needs to happen is this lagoon needs to breach, a goby needs to go out to the ocean, another lagoon fairly close by needs to be open at the same time that that goby can move into, which is in part why it doesn't occur as frequently um, as might be good for the tidewater goby population. If one gets extirpated, it might be a very, very long time until such a, a recolonization event happens.